All right, guys, GoToBoy32 here. Check it out. This is going to be a real quickie because I've made an executive decision that I'm not going to scope the interior of this thing because I'll tell you this. Uh, the screen on my laptop is now broken, so I have to use a, a alternate screen to use my laptop, and I can't drag it out here, and uh, it's going to cost me a little bit of money to get that thing replaced. But in any case, when we do, we'll get back to doing that stuff. But uh, here we are. This is the Ballistic Advantage. This is their 16-inch 5.56 NATO government profile mid-length barrel modern series. Oh, yeah. And I am, honestly, a big fan of Ballistic Advantage. I still think that I can go ahead and get that other barrel squared away, and we'll see. But here we go. Bring this guy out of the plastic. Look at that thing. And this one has a chrome molly uh, finish on it, but this is... The 556 by 45 NATO 1 in 7 twist 4150 chrome molly vanadium. This is a S1916. <laughs> but anyway, we, uh, we're looking pretty good up here. Let's take a look at our barrel receiver right there. And, you know, I really want to take that scope and put it through this thing. Let's see if I can find another computer so that we can do that because it would mean a lot. Now, this thing does not have a crown cut on the front of it. You've got uh, one half of 28 inch threads on this. The tooling on it, there is, you know, some uh, grooves in it, but that's fine. I don't care about that. But it is like a low, light profile. This is their uh, military, what do they call that thing? Government length profile. One of the things I will do is we'll test and see how that guy fits up in there. One of the cool things I will tell you about, one of the deals that I do is uh, typically uh, this screw is aligned with the gas hole. So if you want to see how far off the hold off of the uh, shoulder right here, all you got to do is back that screw off and you can line it up just like that. And it looks to me like this guy is going to be right dead. We're going to have to not leave any room between the shoulder. Moving to the rear I don't see anything that jumps out at me, but I will tell you this. Let's go ahead and get the scope. We'll figure out how to do that because that's really and truly what makes a uh, barrel review hole. So let's take a look at it before we do that. Let's do our weight. One pound, 11 ounces. Do I have any barrels out here that I can use to compare? Uh, usually I got a couple of barrels laying around, but I don't have any right now. All right, let's get this scope and uh, take a look. Stand by. All right, so here we are. We're sitting in here. We've got our, uh, what the hell do they call this thing? What are we going to do with the box? Um, this is the test long. This is their bore scope. Now, one of the things I do like about their bore scope is it does have the 90 degree mirror. And because of that, we're able to really take a hard, close look at the interior of these barrels. Um, I've had a lot of people ask, and honestly, guys, until people started doing this and showing what the interiors of the barrels are like, uh, I'm finding out a lot of manufacturers actually do look a lot of the, the same. Uh, so this is not really something that is uh, unusual <laughs> to say. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and with the bore scope right here, I'm going to take it and we're going to put it in here. So here we go. We're into reach move forward let's take a look at the around let's take a look around shall we now again i haven't run anything through it there's a little grease right there looks clean Ugh, little hair where'd that hair come from all right let's roll it up in here so there's the lands right there you can see i'm uh one of the, I'm not I'm looking for gouges or anything that's stupid is jumping out at me. And, and you know, one of the things that I'm not seeing is that. So one of the, also the other item is talking to Clint is that they test fire every barrel. So one of the things I want to look at is I do want to see the gas port. So here we go. We're coming up on it right now. Anytime now. There it is. Boom. Not sure that's I don't think that's ever been fired or not, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think this barrel, if you with the coating on it, you would probably uh, see some kind of wear. But so far, altogether, you can see some of the cuts right there. Uh, this is probably a button pulled. 
Let's move it on out to the outside. Take a look at it there. Go to the end. There's some goop. We'll go ahead and run a really clean brush and get some of that stuff out of there. Yuck. I don't know what that is. It's probably just some grease. Anyhow, I'm really impressed with the barrel. Watch this. This is probably going to be the most accurate ballistic advantage barrel that I have, and I hope so. Uh, again, 556 4150 chrome molly vanadium. Uh, very nice. And uh, I'll go ahead and put the uh, specifications down in the uh, description of the video if you guys are interested in it. Uh, pick this one up off of Big Daddy Unlimited as well. I think this was under $100. So if we can, in combination with Build This Rifle, and we'll put a complete list on the website uh, with the pictures and uh, links and stuff like that, uh, you can uh, go there and find out exactly for yourself and order these parts individually, if it works out. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this booger put together. With that being said, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom and i'm talking about those guys that fight for our constitution as it was written by our founding fathers there's a breather hole and there's the writing m4 feed ramps pretty cool i mean i like this barrel let's see how accurate it is wait for the uh, next video is going to be the complete layout of the rifle and we'll talk about cost of each individual parts, and I'll put the list on the website. It's Code 132. Hope you guys have a great day, and uh, take care of yourself and stay healthy. Wash your hands.